Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. I had a question come through Facebook and it was how do you be how to become a successful hairstylist? And I don't think that there's one easy way to do it, but here's some things that I've done that have helped kind of push my career forward. So I think the first thing you need to focus on, this is something I struggle with a lot, but it's what makes you you. And I think for the first part of my career, I was so focused on trying to be everyone else that I didn't focus on what I'm good at and what what qualifications I have, what different types of skills I have. So then just over the last couple of years, I've really focused on what makes me different than everybody else. And I just focus on that. So make sure when you're going through your career, you're, you're promoting yourself out on your town or anything like that. Just focus on the things that you do best. And that's what people are going to love you for. Uh, the next one is make connections. I think, um, this is something that gets tossed around, but make sure you go through your town and connect with different people in your town, different business owners. Um, those are what's gonna connect you to the other people in your town that are gonna give you more clientele coming through. Um, also, don't have an ego. I know this is hard to, you know, a lot of us, we all have some type of ego, but just don't let it get to you. Um, we're hairdressers, and what our goal is to make people look good and feel good. And if you have an ego, you're not making anybody feel good. So make sure that you drop the ego at the door. Never be too good to learn, too good to share with the people around you. That's what creates a successful salon environment. And also never stop learning. That was the reason I started Free Salon Education was it was very hard to find um, education on the internet that was free. And I think that that's the way that we stay connected. That's how we really share with each other um, and how we grow and how we learn. So just never stop learning, take classes, focus on that. And then your job is never over is another thing. Uh, when you leave the salon, you're still a part of the salon. You're still trying to grow. So you need to make sure you don't just go home, sit in your hole and then come to work the next day and expect to grow and be busy. Get out there, make connections after work. Um, and, and that's really, you know, I think the few things that made me more successful than most hairdressers that I've talked to is that, you know, you just never stop working, keep pushing forward, make sure you don't have that ego and really just keep educating yourself. I hope this video helps you guys and just kind of clicks that light on for you. Um, make sure you check out our website, freesaloneducation.com. Subscribe to us right here on YouTube for more business tips and tips and haircutting tips and everything in general. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.